Hi, welcome back to the garden. Today is Wednesday, November 9th. The world's about to change for me tomorrow. We're gonna do a little pre-setting. It's gonna start raining and there's nothing I like more than string of plastic in the rain. So we're gonna pre-set today. Now we talked about finishing up that last coal frame, but we had these other bales out here and I thought we might go ahead and extend one more. I got to thinking about it. Everything we've got planted in here, which we've got beets, and radishes and carrots and some cabbages this stuff made it through the blister beetles and it's made it through the groundhog and that's why I went ahead and brought in some more bales we're gonna make a second cold frame here and it's just gonna be easier to manage with two pieces of plastic we're still use that as a cold frame even though most of that cabbage is eaten but we got beets planted there we've got some nice Swiss chard here that are coming back for the winter we're gonna cover that separately and some of the green in the back, we'll, we'll rig something up to cover that stuff. But this is gonna be our real cold frame. We're gonna have the box. I'll show you what I'm doing here. That'll also give us some more room to plant here and inside. So just like the other day, we're gonna bring our frame up on here. Try not to step on anything that's good. As long as your top fits the outline of your frame, you're good to go. And like we did on the other one, we're going to put some hinges. That's just these old stakes. We just want something to push against. There you go. Now, like I said the other day, I want to do something with that so that it won't poke through the plastic. Now, I'm using this Gorilla Tape. This tape holds up to the weather really well. And I'm just putting a couple wraps on here, just softening those corners a little bit. We don't want that poking through the plastic. We'll do that on both of these. And just a little wad on the top is all you need. Something to soften it down a little bit. And we're just going to take our plastic. We'll roll that out. Fold it. Now this plastic comes about 10 feet wide. That's the beauty of having some of those buckets. You want to take that down to the ground and put just a little weight on it to hold it. Now one of the things I discovered is you want to leave yourself plenty of overlap. If you want it to come down on the ground, you want to make it past where you want it. And I usually cut this a little short. This is where some of the other sticks that you see laying around the garden come in handy. So we'll see what we got here. Oh, that's gonna be just barely enough. And then the way we're gonna deal with this, we'll pull it up off the frame, open that up. We use our other stick, and we can just roll this up. And it sits right on the edge, and you just lift that up, put your stake in, and there's your coal frame. Now when you want to button it up, we'll lay this back down, we'll roll this out, We'll roll that plastic out to about here. Then we'll put our other frames in and finish rolling it down. Then we'll do the other one. You do one at a time, you'll be able to do it all. So as you see, it gets dark really quick. But you can do this too. I think the reason why these cold frames or hot frames or hot boxes, however you want to say it works, is because of the deep mulch. There's a good layer on top of the soil which is gonna keep the soil warm. When you have this opened up, even when it's cold outside, that sun does come through here and it does keep it warm. And that will keep it warm throughout the night. I mean, you've seen the results. This stuff really works. But like I say, I don't want to be out here measuring plastic in the rain tomorrow afternoon. So we'll do a little pre-planting now. And then tomorrow when it's fixing to start really turning, we'll be in pretty good shape. I 
do want to thank you for stopping by the garden to help me get this set up. Now if you want to know more about coal frames, check out that link right there and I'll meet you back here in the garden. And until next time, remember, take care of yourself, take care of your family, and God bless you.